understand the main concept of the linked list. So here is a class with, na with name node and this class contains a data member named data of data type int and we have made it public just to make it easy to access this data member. So now if the problem is if we want to have uh, some objects of this class we have two uh, options first option we can create an array like this node array like this so this statement will create an array of 10 object for of the this class so what will happen uh, actually let's open paint it will try to allocate memory uh, in a contiguous manner so it will allocate a collective memory of 10 objects so this is one uh, drawback of array memory because array needs memory in a block and sometime the memory is not available as a block so this is the first uh, drawback of the uh, array and the second is because we allocate uh, memory in advance so sometime uh, the memory is wasted and sometime uh, memory falls short because we may need more objects so to, to, to uh, avoid these problems we have an alternative that is called link list in link list what we do we will create uh, independent objects on heap like uh, instead of this conjecture memory what we will do we will simply create an object look like we create an object here and we create an object here wherever we find the memory we create an object so this is called the, the creating object on heap and then we connect these objects with each other like we can connect this object with this object and then we create another object so create this object with this object so if we want to connect different objects with each other what we will do we will have a variable a pointer variable inside this first object and this pointer will be able to have address of this type so it will point to this next object and it will have another object and a pointer variable but it will point to the next object so to achieve this this scenario what we will do uh, so what we will do we will have a pointer variable here so it is a pointer variable it's not an uh, actually an object so we can create a pointer variable inside a class and that pointer variable may have a type of that class so we have we have a pointer variable here and we will use this pointer variable to connect this object to the next object so now let's create different objects so i create an object n1 and we create this object of on heap and you know how to create object on heap using new keyword so we create an object and this object has been created on heap and heap means it will be created wherever we will find the space suppose say it may have been created here or here or here or somewhere so now so and we assign some value to this data member I say n1 has that value equal to 101 and so let's create an other object on heap this way and I call it n2 and another object on heap and we call it n3 and an other object on heap and we call it n4 so we have created four different objects on heap and all these objects are independent of each other they they are created on different spaces on different locations on the memory and 
and they are not part of any array so the advantage of this method is we will create object whenever we need it and this object will be created wherever it will find the space so uh, let's say it has value 1 1 it has value 1 2 it has value 1 3 and it has value 1 4 so these, these are independent and separate objects so now next let's make a link list of these objects how we will link these objects with each other and for linking purpose we have a variable pointer variable here that will be used to link these different objects so what we will do we will uh, so these are four objects like say you can say we have different four objects like someone first one is here second is here third is here four is somewhere here and you can say it is 100 1 102 103 and 104 and every and each of these objects have a pointer variable next so we will use this pointer variable to connect these objects with each other so here let's do it we say the pointer variable of object n1 has the address of object n2 and similarly we say the pointer variable of object n2 next has the object address of the pointer variable of uh, object n3 and n3 objects pointer variable next has the address of n4 so this way what we have done this line say this of ob first objects next variable has the address of this object and this objects next variable has the address of this object and this objects next variable has the address of this object so now these independent and separate variables have been linked with each other in a form of chain and we can traverse these objects using a loop so now let's use a loop to so to use a loop to uh, traverse these objects we need a temporary variable variable pointer and let's assign it the address of the first object that is n1 and now let's execute write a, a loop while temp is not equal to null pointer and what we will do here we will simply display the value that is within that object and at first you will see you know temp has temp contains the n1 object so it will display the value of n1 that is 101 and let's put line break here and next we move temp to the next object so temp is equal to temp arrow next and you know temp contains the address of first object and the next variable of the first object has the address of the n2 object and the ones next has object address of the n2 object so n1 arrow next has the address of n2 object it means this is n2 object and now temp is pointed to the n2 object so it will show the data of the n2 objects and next n2 arrow next which is actually n3 will be signed to temp so n3 will be displayed so finally we will reach at the end and as you know uh, what we will do we have not uh, pointed anything to null pointer so we write here that the final object n4 next has null pointer so when it will re it will reach n4 it will show n4 data 
and n force next has null pointer so finally then we'll have null pointer and we will break here so let's execute this loop uh, this program so this is a linked list we created a different objects separately and we bound these objects using the next pointer so it was a very simple uh, implementation of linked list in the next program we will create a separate class named linked list and we will perform these operations within that class so stay tuned for the next lecture